Hey guys, Matt from Mr. Matt's Arcade. Um, today I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to add games to the Alpha Max 3D game board using my new database insertion program. So if you follow the link in the description, it'll bring you to my GitHub. It'll bring you to this page, and here's the README file if you want to read a little bit about it. And then you want to go over here to Releases. And this tutorial is for using a Windows computer. Um, if you go down to the Database Insertion Program EXE and download that, go ahead and download it to your desktop or wherever else you'd like. As you can see, here it is on my desktop. So we're going to go ahead and copy and or move that to the SD card. So you're going to want to have your SD card and an SD card reader plugged into your computer. Go down to copy, open up your explorer, go to your USB drive. You're going to want to go to the res folder. That's where the database file is stored. And then right click and do paste. I've already copied it here. I'm going to open up the games database file real quick to show you how many games are in it. So you can see, because we'll open it again after we add games, so you can see that it did indeed work. So in table EN, which is your display name, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, the most recently added game was 1019 called Donkey Kong Test. Then we'll go back to our SD card, and then you just double click the program, and it should open up. Alpha Max 3D Games Database Insertion Program version 1, brought to you by Mr. Matt's Arcade. Press Enter to start or type quit to exit. So let's go ahead and do enter. The game we're going to be adding right now is Mortal Kombat 1, the arcade version. So for ROM name, it's MK. File extension is .zip. Display name, Mortal Kombat. I like to add a suffix with what system it is. Search name is um, capital M, lowercase m, mortal, combat, all one word. And that's the way they have it set up already as far as how to type in the search name. So I'm just copying that. Then you press enter, go to the next one, file path. Arcade games go on slash SD card slash game slash CPS. And we hit enter. Emulator number, refer to start game.sh for available cores. So let's go ahead and open that so you can see the different cores so you know which emulator number. So if we go down to the lib folder, you'll find a file called startgame.sh. Let's go ahead and open that. And so here are all the different numbers and the different emulators. So for arcade, you have number four, which is MAME 2003. 
Number 18 is, it says MAME 2016, but it's actually MAME 2010. Number 19 is actually PSP. I can go over why it looks like that. And then down here, I added um, my most recent update, number 23, which is MAME 2003 plus. And that's the one that I'm gonna use this time while adding Mortal Kombat. So the number I want is 23. Most likely if you're doing an arcade game, you would want either four or 18. So let's go back to the program. All right, so I wanna do number 23 and hit enter. Is this a 2D game or a 3D game? 2D, so press two. Is it a vertical game? One is yes, zero is no, so press no. Insert the table game, okay. Insert the table en, okay. Insert the table en match, okay. Connection closed, game on my friends. And now if we want to start another one, we would press enter or if we wanted to quit, you would type quit. I'm gonna leave that open for a minute and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the database file so you can see that it added it to the correct spots. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. And now if we scroll down to the bottom, there we are, 10,020 Mortal Kombat dash arcade. EN match, which is your search name. There it is, Mortal Kombat. And then you go down to Table Game. Scroll down to the bottom of this one. 10,020, here it is, mk.zip. 10,020 for the video ID as well. Class type, I left blank. Um, in another program, I'll set it up so you can type in the class type if you want. Game type, 23, that's your emulator number. And then it defaults to a few things. Default hard, defaults to zero. Here is where we typed in the SD card path, slash SD card, slash game, slash CPS. Mode two, that's because it was a two day. And then for category, it defaults to zero. And another one, I'll let us choose the category as well. Favorites, it defaults to zero. Visibility defaults to one. Lives defaults to five. Vertical, we said no. And then for coin time, player's coin, hide save state, and DLSS path, it all does default. Then if we go to the end here, it filled it in for EN match, SP match, and CH match. So let's go back to the program. We will enter another one. So we will put in Mortal Kombat 2. So I tried to put in a couple of safeguards in this program to prevent you from messing it up the best I could, such as you can't have a blank entry. Oops, can't be blank, try again. Unfortunately, I did just screw that up, though. Well, worry about that one later. File extension dot zip. Display name. I'm just typing in anything right now because I'm already going to have to delete this one. And then for the numbers, emulator numbers 0 to 30. Um, on my start game.sh, I only have 23 numbers, but I added some extras in case you add some more cores. And one safeguard I put on, put on on this one is, again, it can't be blank. You can't type in a letter. You can't type in something outside of that range. Same thing for this, can't be blank, can't be a letter, can't be outside of the range. Same 
thing for this. So I at least tried to put in a couple of safeguards to prevent you from messing up. Although, as we just learned, unfortunately, if you type something wrong, such as I did up here, I put a backslash after MK2, then you can still screw things up. All right, let's go ahead and quit. So Q-U-I-T, hit enter, and it closes out. And now the other part of adding game is you need to add your ROM file and your movie file to the correct spot on the SD card. So go back here, up here, game. This is your ROM folder. And then here are all the different folders. You have Atari, 2600, 7800, Thomas Wave. CPS is both your, it's your arcade ones, both MAME and FBA. DC is Dreamcast. FC is Nintendo. GBA is Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. MD is Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. N64 is N64. Naomi is Naomi. PCE is PC Engine, PSP is PSP, PSX is PlayStation 1, and SFC is Super Nintendo. So we'll go up here to CPS, right click and paste. There we go, it added them to that. We'll take a look at the game's database so you can see that it added in the correct ones. And then I'll go ahead and pop this um, SD card back into the Alpha Max and you guys can see that it worked. Scroll down to the end, there's MK, and there's MK2 with my mistake. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and eject this, and I'll pop it into the Alpha Max so you can see that the games we just added, or at least the one that we did correctly, will show up in the list and work properly. Alright guys, here's a quick look at the Alpha Max 3D games list, so you can see that Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat 2 the two games we just added show up, and those were 2D games. So let's go up to the 2D list and go down to the end of it. And here you go. Here's Mortal Kombat Arcade. And then here's the one that I messed up, which I'm going to have to go back and delete. But Mortal Kombat Arcade should open up and run. So there you go guys, we successfully added a game to the Alpha Max 3D game board um, using the new games database insertion program. So there you go guys, you can see that the newly added games show up in the list and if done correctly, play properly as well. Um, so this is just the first revision of the program. I'm going to try to do other revisions that automate some of the process for you and maybe put in a couple more safeguards to prevent you from messing it up. But I hope you guys like this. I've used it quite the program quite a bit and it does making it, it does make it a little quicker and easier to add games because you no longer have to open the game's database file and manually input entries. I hope you guys liked it, and uh, if you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the program. Let me know suggestions on how it can be better. Um, overall, I'm happy with it, especially considering less than a week ago, I knew nothing about Python at all. So not bad in less than a week. I designed a very simple program, and it actually works. So I'm impressed with that. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching, and game on, my friends. Hey, guys, uh, here is a quick bonus video. Since during my tutorial, I messed up some of the inputs, so I figured real quick I would show you how to um, fix or delete it. So we're going to open up the game's database. You want to go to your SD card, go into the res folder, and you want to open your game's database. Um, I use DB Browser for SQLite as my database program. And I already have it installed, so all I got to do is double click my game's database. And it'll open up. And then if we go over to table EN and scroll down to the bottom, here's the Mortal Kombat 2 one that I messed up. So you just click on it and you can start typing. And then you go up here and you click out of the box afterwards. Go up here to write changes and that'll change what we just did and then we'd go over to table en match and one other thing to mention as apparently the format is actually capital letter capital letter again and then the rest of the name all one word no spaces and then click out of the box click write changes and then go down to table game scroll down find the one you messed up and right here is where I made the first mistake I put a backslash accidentally before I hit enter so Gonna go ahead and just delete that click out of the box and then do right changes and now that should fix the mistakes that i made now the other thing i'm going to show you is how to delete an entry it's pretty simple we'll go back and start at table en scroll down click it delete record and match click the number all the way over here so it highlights the whole thing. Delete record. And then down to table game. Click the number over here so it highlights the whole record. And then do delete record. And when you're all done, do write changes. And now that's deleted. Um, when deleting games, the only time you will run into an issue is if you're not deleting the last entered one because then you're gonna have to go through and change the numbers for all the ones after it to make sure they are correct when you're all done you just exit out of your game database and that's it that's how you correct an entry and or delete it it's similar to my other video showing you how to manually add entries all right guys thanks again for watching and uh, leave a comment let me know what you think Thanks and game on my friends.